as I've started this, I've just realised I'm probably about to be catcalled because there's some builders opposite. But I'm off to Central this morning to meet my friend Sinead. So we're going to shoot a couple of outfits and go to the Pandora breakfast, have some lunch together, etc, etc. But I thought I'd start the vlog today because yesterday I didn't really do very much. I went to a gym class which was for L Fragrances and it was really good. It was a spinning class in One Rebel which is a fitness studio in London that's really, really good. So it was a lovely class, it was really good fun, but I just didn't vlog anything. So here's starting a vlog today with an out of breath dress, as always, when I'm walking. Look who I'm with. Hi. I feel like it's been so long since we've done anything on YouTube I together. I'm we, so nice <laughs> we are completely like, my hair's tucked in and it's half hanging out now. It's freezing. Um, we're out shooting. We've been to the Pandora breakfast this morning and yeah, we're just having a few pictures and there's a little shoot thing going on behind the camera. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. There's a man having his feet washed. <laughs> Good morning, it is Wednesday. I will admit I have been the worst at vlogging this week and I don't really know why apart from the fact that my camera is dead and I need to charge it up but I keep forgetting. So hopefully from tomorrow it will be a bit better or from later today I'm gonna charge them up while I'm out. I'm gonna vlog like this because the lighting's better. Yeah, I'm off to Dishoom for a meeting this morning and it's not even eight o'clock. I have to leave the house at eight which is actually in like 10 minutes so I need to get dressed. But I'm very excited. It's a really cool little restaurant I've never been to but there's quite a few around London and it looks really good. It's like Indian inspired and everyone always raves about it. So I'm excited to oh, to give it a try. And then for the rest of the day, I'm basically just sat at home and just getting on with various bits and pieces. I'm also not doing my hair today. As you can probably tell, I'm leaving it au naturel. Um, there's no particular reason other than for one, I can't be bothered to do it. And for two, I just like leaving it natural sometimes because I think using heat on it like every day or every other day is quite bad. So I want to give it a bit of a break, but I need to stop vlogging. I need to get dressed, so I'll catch up with you in two secs. A few moments later. Okay, so I might have slightly messed up this morning, and I actually left the house to go to my meeting, got all the way to the tube station and thought, hang on a minute, let me just double check I've got my card. Did I? No, I did not. I did not put my card in my bag this morning. So when I go to the gym, I basically just put my card wallet into my like puffer coat, and then it has my little key fob to get into the gym, and stupidly, I went all the way there without the card and it takes like 15 minutes to walk there so I would then have had to walk 15 minutes back to then go 15 minutes back again so I'd be 45 minutes late and it just would have been a nightmare so I emailed the PR and just said I'm really really sorry but I've had a Monday brain on a Wednesday and I'm not gonna be able to make it which I'm assuming is gonna be fine so basically I am now sat at my desk and I've just made myself some avo toast with some balsamic glaze on and a little cup of coffee and I'm gonna crack on with editing some videos and Hopefully today I'm gonna to try and get a couple filmed as well So I want to try and film my February travel diaries and I want to try and get something else filmed I don't really know what I might do like a little sit down ASOS haul because I've already done the try on bit and I might as well just do like the sit down bit So I'm gonna try and get those done at some point and then I also want to do a Disney Q&A So I think I'm gonna ask again on Instagram and just like ask for Disney related questions because I did one about the parks the other day but I think I might do another one because obviously stories are only there for a little bit so yeah the PRs just emailed back and said it's fine this happens to the best of us so <laughs> I now feel a lot better about this situation but yeah I'm gonna crack on with this edit and put you on a time lapse and then see where the day takes us but I am back in my dressing gown because I think I said to Sam this is literally the best thing you could ever buy me for a Christmas present he actually bought me this for Christmas as one of my presents and I just love dressing gowns like there's nothing more cozy than putting on a dressing gown and slippers and just feeling really snug at home like I am sat fully clothed underneath like I've got a top on and I've got jeans underneath but I just like having a cozy dressing gown on top especially because this one's like super soft I will leave it linked in the bio actually because I do get asked about it quite a lot which is really random but yeah I'll leave it linked because it's so so snuggly <laughs> Right, I'm gonna try and film my February travel diaries quickly because I always do them as a one take and I want to just quickly sit down and get it done. My hair is looking questionable, I need to go give it a bit of a wet, a wetness, is that the word? I basically am trying to leave it natural today and tomorrow until I basically wash it again and it's been tied in a bun so it's like, 
like this. Okay, hair is tucked and we're gonna go with this. I actually love this jumper tucked like this. I think it just looks so much better than having all my hair everywhere. And it also just looks kind of like a bit more chic. I mean, it probably doesn't, but we're gonna go with the fact that it looks a bit more chic. I just love a hair tuck, basically. I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna set my camera up and get filming. I'm also gonna do it sat over here because I wanna see what the lighting is like, and I wanna potentially use this as a filming spot in the future, so we're gonna give it a go and see what it's like. I need to tell you about my addiction right now. Like, I am low-key obsessed with these. They're the little bowl soups. And I have these probably once or twice a week. And they're so good. My favourite is the butternut one. And they also have, like, a sweet potato quinoa dal one, which I'm not as keen on. I find it's just a bit bland and it needs a bit more spice. But I thought I'd try this one, which is the coconut corn and sweet potato immune boosting super soup and it smells really good so i'm gonna give it a try i think it's gonna be quite a good one but they're just so lovely like they're really like yummy 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 soups and they're all plant-based so they're very good for you and i just love them so i'm gonna give it a try i'm back at the desk i'm about to start editing um a video because I, you know what, you know when I'm, you know when you're just in the mood to do something. I'm in the mood to edit, and sometimes I'm just never in the mood to edit. Sometimes I'm really in the mood to edit. So while I'm in the mood of it, I thought I might as well edit as much as I can that's backed up, and then at least I've got stuff going live because I've got about seven or eight videos to edit. But it's the actual editing of them that I just meh. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit down and try and do that now, and then carry on. It's a few hours later. Look who's back. <laughs> Sam has been out shooting all morning and we've just been sat being absolute idiots in the office for a while. But um, we were just sat singing and dancing to each other over the top of the computers and stuff, which is quite funny. And now I'm off to the gym. It's about 20 past three, which is normally the time I tend to go. Like I always go around about three o'clock because I just find it to be the best time of day. Like if I go first thing in the morning, it's really busy. If I go like mid morning, it kind of interrupts my workflow. So three o'clock is like a good time to go, get a workout in, come home and then just crack on with like final emails and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm training today because I haven't looked at my shreddy app yet. So I think it might be like legs maybe. So I'm gonna try and do like a little cycle or something and then do leg day. But yeah, that's basically my plan for the next hour or so. Sam is off out for dinner tonight as well. So I've got the house to myself. So I think I'm just gonna have like a bit of a like, not pamper evening per se, because I'm gonna get work done, but I'm gonna like put on a face mask, put on some tan, have maybe like a half an hour bath or something in between. I don't really know, but I'm just gonna try and have a bit of a chilled evening and relax and enjoy myself by myself because sometimes I think when you live with a boyfriend it's so easy to like not have time for yourself so I'm gonna make sure I have time for myself tonight. Off to the gym I go. I'm home from the gym. I didn't do, I don't know, I did like 20 minutes on the bike and then I did a full like shreddy workout. You know when you come back and you just don't feel like you've done enough? Like even though I was sore and my legs hurt when I was doing it, I just don't feel like I've done enough and I know it's really stupid and I think it's just me being really critical but um, I just don't feel like I did enough so anyway I was in there an hour I did what I did and I'm now home I've just had some dinner so I just threw together like some random veg and the chickpeas I had left over from last night so I basically made like chickpea salad last night and thought I'm just gonna chuck loads of random stuff in a bowl and hope it works which is what I tend to do when I'm on my own because sometimes I just can't be bothered to cook but tonight I'm gonna crack on and edit some videos because I've got I think two vlogs, a couple of cover shopping with me's, and like various other bits and pieces to edit. So I thought I might as well just get ahead of myself and edit as much as I can tonight. Basically gonna have a full evening of work and try and just power through until whatever time Sam comes home, which could be whenever. Like, depending how much alcohol he has, depends on what time he comes home, which is quite a typical boy thing, I think. Like, he'll say one more about six times before he actually comes home. And he could never understand why it was annoying until I did it to him and now he gets it so he doesn't tell me one more anymore he just texts me when he's on the way home so I know that he's the one knocking on the door and not a random stranger because you can't see our front door and it really worries me if the doorbell goes and I don't know who it is and it's like 10 o'clock at night I mean to be fair I probably would know it's Sam but just in case you know you never know these things Good 
good morning guys it's thursday i'm off to therapy this morning so it's half nine and it takes me about 20 minutes to get there because my therapy is like not that far from my house really so i'm about to set off and i'm gonna get there a little bit early so i can like sit in my car and prep myself and just make sure that i'm in the right headspace to go in because i think it's so important to kind of be in the right frame of mind when you go into therapy and make sure that you're going to be open and that you're ready to talk about things because there's some sessions i've had in the past where um like i've been to this woman maybe four times um and i stopped because i just wasn't like i was just not ready to open up about certain things and i think you have to like i was going to every session and just knowing that i was holding back and i shouldn't have been so i'm off today for another one i'm having cbt which is like for anxiety and ocd and all that kind of stuff but i found it really good so far like some of the things that she said have really resonated and made sense to me like protecting your core values and um like the way that your brain works when you think of certain things so like for example if you have one thought that you're like oh that's affected me a bit and then it kind of tra you know what i mean if you have had cbt so yeah i'm excited to get back i don't know how open i'm gonna be i don't like crying in front of people which is so stupid when i'm going to therapy and the whole point is that you like cry and you get it all out and you talk about things but we'll see i just uh, i worry that going to a therapy session and crying and getting things out means they're going to be in my head for the rest of the day and then i'm just going to be panicking and feel really awful but reality is that i need to do that and i need to have a few like months where it's a little bit rough to get through the other side of it so even though i feel like i'm all right at the moment i need to just get it out so yeah i'm gonna drive there now i didn't bring my car mount and my cameras just died because i'm an idiot and didn't get a new battery in it um so there won't be a car vlog but i'll update you when i get there because i'm gonna be a bit early one hour later okay i'm back in the car i've just finished my therapy session and this is gonna be so hard to do one-handed um it was really good i feel like i opened up a lot more we're gonna do some work on different things that we maybe wouldn't have done before until i was this open so feeling very good about it feeling very positive um we also had a little chat about kind of social media and um mental health and we were saying about how like people think of therapy as something to be scared of or ashamed of or that kind of it's means you're mental or it means you're crazy and we had to talk about it and i was saying about how i follow people who are very like inspiring in that sense for example off the top of my head like maddie bruce for example who i follow she's really good at talking about like mental health and stuff online and there's various other people too who are so obviously it's really good from a therapist perspective that people are so open and talking about it because it makes people feel better about opening up so yeah feeling very positive so i'm going back next tuesday is it Tuesday I'm going back or Thursday? I can't remember. One of the two. I think it's Thursday. Um, so that's really good. Really fun. Not really fun, but it's good because it means that I've got progress. I've booked two more sessions in. So feeling very good. But I'm going to drive home now and see Sam because it's 11 o'clock. I need to get some work done. And then I'm actually heading over to Shah's tonight. And we're going to go try on our bridesmaids dresses and stuff. And we're going to be baby free because I'm the only one out of the five of us that doesn't have a baby. And they've all... The, so Shah and the three other bridesmaids all have babies and they're all within about three months of each other which is kind of coincidence like it wasn't planned obviously um like some of them only know each other because of babies so yeah it's going to be very good to see them all without babies and have like girl time and try on our dresses and try our hair out maybe um but we have i'm going to try and show you later and explain but Shah has got us like the wrap ones that you can kind of make however you want to make them so you can like do the whole top half however you want so we've all got the same in two different colors so two of us are in one color two are in another color and then we can kind of tie them how we want so we've got to attempt to tie them but the tie bits are very 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 long so it's going to be quite funny and i'm actually looking forward to it because i think it's going to be hilarious so yeah um that's my plan for this evening but i do have some random campaigns and stuff to shoot today so i need to head home so as I've got back, there's a parcel that's turned up from Lorna Jane, which is an Australian activewear brand that I've seen online for quite a while and I've always thought about investing into, but for some reason or another just never have. And they very kindly gifted me a gym outfit, which I'm really happy with. So I thought I'd quickly show you what I picked up from them. So I'm going to stick you on the tripod and show you kind of, actually no, let me just show you a flat lay and then I'll show you what it looks like on as well. So this is the sports bra. So this is called the double up and it's basically a little sports bra that looks like this. So it's got this really gorgeous like netting material. It's got a crisscross back and this little detail at the bottom here. So it's really, really cute. Perfect for if you are confident enough not to wear 
a gym top over the top, but also really nice if you did want to, I guess. And the one thing I really like about the Lorna Jane stuff is it literally tells you here like what it's good for. So this is good for the gym, cardio, interval training. It's got ultimate support and it also has um, padding in here, which I always tend to take out, but it's quite a good thing to have because it means that you're a bit more held in place with your tartars. So that's the bra. Then this is the top I got. So it's just like a really nice like waffle fabric and it's just a light pink. I thought this is also really cute because you could wear this with like summer shorts and stuff as a nice little summer outfit. And again, it says on here what it's good for. So this one says it's good for lifestyle, gym, travel. It's lightweight, cotton feel, and it's breathable. So really good that it puts all of that on there. And this is called the downtime tank. They did have it in a couple of different colors, but I just quite liked the light pink because a lot of my gym stuff is quite plain. So it's nice to have a little bit of color. And then <laughs> speaking of plain, I actually got these plain black gym leggings because plain black is just the best thing ever. I like having a lot of plain black gym leggings rather than lots of patterned ones because I think sometimes you get a bit carried away. So these are the XL leggings and these are good for gym, running, interval training. They have active core stability. Um, I don't know what nothing to see here means. Is that like you can't see squat? I don't really know. And then moisture wick and breathe wick. It does actually say squat proof on here as well, which is really good. So I'm actually wearing gym clothes already. So I've actually just got my Gymshark leggings on here. I can't remember what the name of these is, but they're like a really nice berry color and they've got these little like whole detailing and they're super super comfortable so i'm going to try them on and tell you what i think when they're on i do think the leggings might be a little bit tight i did say my size was a size eight and they've sent me an extra small but they seem quite tight but i don't know if that's because i'm used to like the seam free of these where it's a bit more like loose and forgiving so i'm going to try it on and show you what i think okay i've just moved the padding down to like the sides because it was just very in the way and to be honest i never ever keep the padding in so i'll probably just take it out anyway but it's a really nice fit i really like the little kind of slit detailing here you can kind of make it as closed or as open as you want so you could wear it like however you feel like wearing it so it's quite cute and then the back just looks like so and it's really really nice i love oh i love the fact that it's got this really low back detailing as well because that's the bit that i get quite conscious of when i'm just wearing a bra and yeah it looks quite cute, I really like it. You can see my little my little side roll. But yeah, I really like it. I love the fact it's got these like crisscross straps and stuff. And back details like this are always something I think about when I get sports bras because sometimes they are so hard to get on. Like I've had one in the past and I think it was just a Primark one, but it was so challenging to get over my head and like work out where your arms and stuff go. So this one's really nice because it literally has like, I don't know if you can really see, but it's got the little bits at the top here. So it kind of holds it into place and it's just really nice and flattering i really like the low back detail like i've already said and i do have my little like bits of back fat hanging through here but do you know what <laughs> there could be worse things in the world um i'm just going to chuck the leggings on and the top and i'll tell you what i think of the whole outfit okay can we just appreciate my panic over these not fitting was all for nothing because they're actually so comfy and i don't really know how to explain it but they're like super soft they feel like normal like not gym leggings on the outside but the inside is kind of like this is like a big panel to like hold your tummy in if you're a bit conscious and then like further down the leg like i don't know how to explain it the inside feels like gym leggings and the outside just feels really super soft and they're really flattering like i am loving them and i actually did think they weren't going to be very long because when i was holding them up they looked like they'd be like here but they're actually full length which is great and as you can see they're kind of like slightly rolled up on my legs a little bit so yeah i love these i love the fact i don't have to roll them up um i like the fact that they kind of just come to my ankle and they're really flattering they feel really figure hugging they're definitely squat proof and they're really cute i love these they're probably i mean obviously i haven't tried them in the gym yet but i think these are on to a solid winner to be some of my favorite gym leggings especially with this little control bit here because not only does it feel like it's going to stay up but it also feels like it's gonna hold me in. I have a little pooch here. Hee, hello pooch. Okay, then finally we have this top which I'm loving. So this is just like a really nice boxy square fit tank and it's slightly cropped. So my belly button is here and it comes to just below, but it's really nice because it's just lower than my leggings, but it's not like too long. So it's really nice and breathable. And also I think it's the perfect thing that you could just like tie up if you wanted to and just wear it like so or whatever you fancy but I really like the soft pink colour because like I said my whole gym kit is black and white and it does I think come in a few different colours but it's so lightweight and it just feels really nice and comfortable and I really like it so this is definitely going to be what I wear to the gym next time I go which which I think is actually going to end up being tomorrow because it's actually 10 to 12 now and I'm heading over to Shah's for I think half four which means I need to leave here at three so I'm probably not going to have time to go to the gym because I need to get a few bits of work done, like emails and whatever. So I'm going to crack on with work stuff and probably go first thing in the morning. And I've actually booked into a class tomorrow. I can't remember what I booked, but I booked into something. What did I book? 
oh 10 15 hit workout so that's gonna be fun and i'm very excited for that you could certainly imagine what okay i am driving to shah's house and i am stuck in so much traffic like coming off for the junction i need to come off it's like crawling i'm going not even 10 miles an hour and have been for quite a while now so my sat nav is actually saying i'm going to get there at 20 past five i was meant to get there at like quarter to four at uh, quarter to five so like 45 minutes later which is really annoying but there's nothing i can do it's obviously just work traffic because it's five o'clock and yeah it's a bit annoying but there's nothing i can do about it so it's fine so i've just got to Charles' house she's poured me a massive glass of wine <laughs> And we've just had dinner, put the baby to bed, and now we're about to have girl chats before Faye gets here because she's just on her way. She's also just putting her baby to bed, I think, or she's dropping Albie off or something. So she's on her way. Shara's here. Hi. I will leave all her links with down wine below. Also. With wine also. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you what we're doing when we're trying these dresses on and stuff because I think it's going to be absolutely hilarious. Is that Faye? That's my mum. Oh. Me and Faye are in our dresses. There is a lot of fabric going on. Faye's over there just tying hers around her head because we don't really know what to do with all this excess fabric. I'm gonna cover Shah's boobs for now. <laughs> it's cool, I've done it. So we're just trying on the dresses and trying to work out what to do with this. I feel like Jasmine or something in there. I've got a You look like an old lady. <laughs> Dying at this. Fashion. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a look. I love it. That looks like a bandana, you know, when you're a kid and you wear the bandanas on your head. <laughs> Good morning. It's now Friday and I'm off to Central today because I've got a couple of like meetings and stuff. So I'm heading into the New Look showroom and the River Island showroom and also meeting a friend for some coffee before heading home so I might do a little come shopping little video potentially. Didn't really do much last night, last night was really really fun. We just tried on our bridesmaids dresses, did a bit of like planning for the day of like talking about what we need to get done, um, what needs to be bought, what needs to be sorted etc and yeah it was really really good fun and I got home at midnight so I didn't really vlog anything <laughs> but it was really good and very excited for today. I'm out of the house quite early, remembered my card this morning so I'm not going to have any mishaps but, but I also bought my headphones because I think I'm going to listen to my Harry Potter audiobook on the train as well because it's quite nice to zone out when you're on the tube to be honest. Okay new look, we're going to have to slightly take the sound off and do a voiceover because they're playing chart hits and obviously it will get demonetized if they're playing chart hits and you won't be able to hear anything I'm saying so I'm going to do it as a sound free one. So this is everything I've picked to try on and I'm going to give it all a go now. So I've got two pairs of boots here. There's this pair which are just pointed with a tiny heel and then I've got these that are a bit more like western style which I thought were really cool for kind of summer vibes and stuff. Then I've also got all of these clothes and this one bag which I'm going to try and style with some of the outfits because I think it's such a beautiful colour and it literally goes with like absolutely any outfit so I think it's a bit of a winner. It's also a really nice size and shape so love that. So I've yeah, just got to. Oh, Julia's here. Oh, sorry. Hi. By the way, <laughs> you've never actually been in it. I've I talked about it. you. You've not been in Hi, it. Hi, guys. <laughs> this is Julia that I see sometimes. Hi. Um, I am <laughs> just wearing this coat, and we've actually all decided to put the same coat on. So we're going to take a little group pic of all of us. Look, literally, all of us are just in it. <laughs> look, they look so nice. <laughs> we just all. <laughs> literally, all of us have the coat on. All of us. <laughs> Go on Ellie, give it some. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really want to know, really want to know If I Let figure out where the road goes Hello everyone, I'm taking over Jess's vlog. I literally can't see your screen because that's fucking That's so that's annoying. That's the only thing is a wind muffler so it stops the like noise. And we are, I'm showing you a bit of a behind the scenes of a shot that we're getting. Jess is working the magic. We're getting a photo of my shoes. I need to get in this door. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let me move for him. <laughs> Oops. 
So I've just got in and put all my stuff into the office that I picked up today and there's so much of it. So I'm so grateful because these are two brands that I really, really love. And what I'll do is do a haul video so that you guys can see what I got because I picked up some really great bits and I'm actually really excited to show you because I think you'll like them. So I might just sit down in a minute and quickly film a haul video and try on, but I'm gonna try a different kind of setup for one video only um, because basically we, got rid of the clothes rail so I need to buy another clothes rail which I've actually only just remembered that we got rid of it so I need to get one of those in a moment and basically I don't want to keep it up all the time so I need one that I can just chuck into the cupboard and get out and put back when I need it but I might try and do a sit down here and then do it so it's like a sit down but then I talk about the pieces or to be honest I could do it there but the only problem is I'm like considerably taller than the shelving unit so it might look a bit odd especially because you've got all of this that's not, I don't know, we'll see. But I'm actually about to go and get some hash browns out of the oven because I put some on for Sam because he's not feeling very well. He's got a bit of a migraine today. So I'm gonna go get them out of the oven in a sec and then I need to finish editing the vlog. I also need to go to the gym, but oh, I can't be bothered. I really can't be bothered. I'm giving myself a coffee now just to try and get myself in the mood to go because this is around about the time I normally go. And I didn't go yesterday. I can't go tomorrow or the day after, so I don't want to have like five days off and then do two days and then five days off because I think I need to stop being such a wimp and just go. Um, I know that it's typical for motivation to lack, but I feel like if I let myself not go, then the motivation just won't come back. So I need to just be like, right, get in the mind frame, get in the mind frame, get in the mind frame, go. And just go. Because let's be honest, it's Friday night. It's probably not going to be busy anyway. It's probably going to be quite quiet. So I think I could probably get in and get a good workout. So I haven't actually vlogged anything today. I've literally just been sat around the table not doing very much with these two who have also been sat around the table not doing very much. Yeah, since about half twelve I've been working, Sam's been working in the drink puzzle, Heidi's been studying, we've just been literally sat around the table so I've just made myself a little coffee um, and we're waiting on our Chinese to come so we're gonna have some dinner in a bit and then hour. yeah it has it's been over an hour. Definitely. I left I left the quarter five. We didn't order straight. What time did we order? It's seven now Weird. It must have been about six. It's got to be like due any minute. We ordered it ten to six. So it's just about now, it should arrive any minute. Um, but yeah, we're doing that and I'm making coffee and then we're gonna sit and watch a movie tonight, I think. Um, yes, we'll find something to watch. Maybe the imitation game we said. Oh, what's that? I'll let Sam explain. Um, but yeah, that's our plan for the evening. So whenever I'm here, I just like to chill and not do much work. And like, well, not, not do much work, but I like just kind of getting on with stuff. So yeah. Also look how low these glasses are right now. They're just slicing my eyes in half. Hello. <laughs> So we're going to start the new week as we ended the old week doing the puzzle. Sam is on his final piece. He's just done it all by himself. <laughs> this is the last bit to go in. So I'll let you do your honours. Okay, is it enough? Okay, mm. here we go. Oh my god, please have got it right around. No, rotate, rotate. <laughs> yes! Woohoo! How many hours in total have we worked out? 15 last week and then... About five today. No, it's less than that, about two and a half today, so it's 17 and a half hours to do this. <laughs> the satisfaction that Sam's getting out Honestly, of pulling this part. the best feeling ever. <laughs> Please be careful not to break any though, in no, case we ever do decide to do it again. It's also, it's hanging off the edge, so. <laughs> that's why I'm crumbling. It's so sad. No, it needed to go, like... No! So happy, honestly, so happy. Please send Phyllis a video of him doing this. <laughs> it's all gone. You ruined it! Good morning, guys. It's Sunday, and I am basically spending the entire day glued to my laptop editing videos because I've got so much to edit. And I thought, while I'm in the mood, while I'm at my parents' house and it's quiet and there's no one really here, I might as well just get on and get work done. Because I think sometimes it's best to do it when you've got no other distraction and then you actually have to like sit down and get on with it. And I know that I'll be thankful for getting stuff done today in the week when I'm not like rushing to get things finished. So I'm going to go back downstairs now and I'm just going to carry on working. So I'll put you on a little time lapse to see what we're getting up to. But genuinely, the three of us have spent most of this weekend sat around the kitchen table just doing work <laughs> with various coffees and waters and madelines and other bits and pieces but it's so nice to just chill and get stuff done and not have to worry about like well not have to worry but like I am so easily distracted by everything and anything so 
it's good to work without distraction but i thought i'd quickly show you my outfit because i haven't showed you many this week and i actually think it's better when i show you my outfits because a lot of you always ask where things are from and i don't necessarily show you what i'm actually wearing for you to know what it really looks like so this is what i'm wearing today i'm actually wearing some trousers that i got from new look earlier in the week okay i've just turned the light on because it's a bit dark in here but i've just got my classic polar neck on which is like a really nice kind of softer fine knit so it's not too chunky so it is a jumper but it's not like a really big chunky jumper like i normally wear this is actually from zara and i think it's only about 20 pounds so i'll leave it linked and then also these trousers which are balloon jeans from new look they also come in black but i quite liked this kind of like rusty tone it's a lot more this color than it looks in the mirror the mirror looks a bit darker but they're really nice they're really flattering they come up really true to size as well like these are a really really good fit and i just quite like the way they look and i think they'll be really nice on holiday if i wear them with like a little white t-shirt and some rope sandals but you could also dress them up with like espadrilles or you could wear them with boots and like a big chunky knit or whatever it might be so they're very good for kind of multi-seasonal and the color is also really perfect for that too then as you can see i also have some little piglet socks and my slippers because if you're at home why not just be comfortable because technically this is home too where my parents live here so this is like my second home <laughs> this is like home home if you are have been a uni student and you understand the terminology of like home home and home so this is home home but yeah i'm gonna head back downstairs and carry on with some work oh for god's sake he's just running under the bed as soon as i've opened the door he's gonna like stalk my hand now come on simba come on simba come on no, it's going to Get out! Simba, out! I'm not playing, you need to come out! <laughs> I'll leave those there, Jess, you can just keep shaking them. What's Gigi? Yes, I thought you might. Now you come out, you little rascal. Come on then. Come on then. Yes, you can have one too because you've just heard us and Simba's been naughty. Okay, obviously we are here to pet sit, so I'm about to feed the pets their lunch and they're so funny when they eat. Like, we have to put Simba's food on a bench because Tilly will eat it. So she obviously is a dog and he is a cat and she eats her food half and then eats his food and then he eats her food and they swap. It's very, very strange, but they seem to like each other's food more than their own. So I think that's like a typical thing, like food envy. But I'm just gonna quickly sort out their food and give them their little treats. Two happy pets. Where's my lunch? <laughs> um, we need to make it. Do you actually want something to eat? Mm, I'm hungry. I've we haven't had anything toast. yet. Let's have some toast. What do you want on it this time? I actually did remember to put something on it. Marmite? But yeah, maybe. Okay. Can I have a handshake? <laughs> I am literally spending the whole day sat at the kitchen table with Sam. Heidi's actually just run away, but she'll be back in a sec, I'm sure. 